Mr. Danny. Okay, what's up? That, that, that was my attempt at a good entrance. You know what, you don't need one, sir. I probably look bad doing that, but anyway, how are you doing, man? I'm very good on you. You can't look bad, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> this is probably one of the best albums you've ever released, taking nothing away from the, pro uh, the previous projects. It is so relevant, so well produced. Almost every song on it is a hit. How did you do it? Uh, I can't take credit for it, really. I mean that I had a great bunch of people on the album, um, some great features. Donald, Delez, Cabello, Double HP, Reason, it just went on and on. And yeah, man, you know, this has been the challenge for me is kind of 13 years in the business is how do you keep writing stuff that you think people are going to dig. So when Brown Eyes came out, I held my breath. I was like, you know, I didn't know if it was going to catch. And then it did what it did. And since then, it's just been a great run. And this week we've released... Um, the new collab with Donald called Personal Paradise, which is going to be a big, big song, I think. Uh, something we're both very proud of. So watch out, shooting the video in a few weeks' time. So it's, it's about, to, uh, about to happen, yeah, again. Does Danny K feel like right now he's at the peak of his powers? I, I really do, you know, and, and I hope that doesn't sound arrogant, but I feel like the past kind of five albums I've done, um, all the kind of like preparation, learning, doing the right things, doing the wrong things. But right now, I feel like I found my lane. I feel very good. And I think it's come with maturity and all that, which is why I called the album Good Look. You know, the album wasn't about looking good. It was about a state of mind uh, and a creative state of mind, which is a good look on someone. And I thought that, that that's kind of where I'm at. You've had a lot of solidarity in terms of your personal life. You're married to a beautiful woman. Thank you. Great relationship with your father as always. J23 is doing well. How important is your personal life in terms of how your music turns out? Oh, well, I think that's one of the secrets of why creatively I was in such a good space. You know, um, I've kind of had ups and downs personally, professionally. Everything felt good going into recording this album. And, you know, sometimes you just need good energy around you to do good things, good people around you. And yeah, my pops, my parents, J23 is a family run business. We stay very humble, very conscientious, hardworking. We don't get to, you know, full of ourselves. And uh, I think that's true to life, man. You just got to keep working hard and staying grounded and, and you can, you know, you can do good things. Danny K, I'm hoping we're going to see you have a performance at this year's Psalmist. I hope so. God damn, I've been dying, you know. The last time I was on the Psalmist stage, I performed with Mendoza. We did a, a performance in military outfits on bikes. We had an album that won best pop album that year. And uh, it was a long time ago. So I, I, hope, I hope we get to rock, rock something at this year's Psalmist, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed <laughs> Prince of Pop, Mr. Danny King. Thank you very much.